is a place of encounter, a safe space where the Holy Spirit will unveil to you the true picture of a Heavenly Father. The Zeal Teens group from the Big Dreams Creative Course presents the true face of our Heavenly Father God. All along this video, you will see the facets of our Heavenly Father through the creative art forms we have learned in the Big Dreams Creative Course. The Holy Spirit gave us the song, The Father's House, for our video. And just like the song goes, we invite you to lay your burdens down because your story isn't over. Your story has just begun. Next, we have Joanna sharing about our unfeeling father through the creative art form, paper design. If the story isn't good, and failure's never final when the father's in the room. Hi, I'm Johanna. My theme is unfeeling. I made this trip with the mother bird and all her young ones to show that a mother never fails to meet the needs of her children. Likewise, a Heavenly Father never fails to meet the needs of His children. I pray that each one of us will experience our Heavenly Father's unfailing love. Next, we have Joel. And so this is my artwork that pictures the infinite God in the seven days of creation. God created everything by his word, by the power of his spirit. So as it says here in John 1.1, 1, 1, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So here, on the first day, God separates light from darkness and on the second day God separates land and the ocean that is the water and sea and river and on the third day God creates the plants the trees and the flowers and on the fourth day God creates the sun and the moon which give and the stars which gives us light the sun in the day and the moon in the night and on the fifth day, God created the birds that fly in the sky and all the animals that live in the sea, that are the fishes. And on the sixth day, God created the animals and us human beings, that's Adam and Eve. Yeah, fail, you won't define me. So I believe through uh, your uh, situation, you will experience God is an infinite God. Um, Next, we have Sharon. 
Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. I have written a poem on God's empowering hand. We receive knowledge as we seek study. For wisdom comes from Christ only. Life is glorious when his paths we take. Angelic help sent for the prayers we make. With love and care he helps us all. No matter where and how we fall. He picks us up and helps us fly. Without him we cannot survive. The right path stuff but God's truth frees us. Helps us walk through earth as we follow Jesus. His wisdom helps us to be a blessing. This piece of his love gives us joy, bursting. His love is everlasting and his grace too, which empowers us with the truth. Call out to him every hour, every day. He will empower you all along your way. I believe in every situation you will experience our empowering father. Over to Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah and this is my artwork. So over here, there is Amy, this little toddler. She wants to make a nice castle with her brand new building blocks. But she struggles and she is so frustrated. But then Jesus helps her and together they make an awesome palace. A few years later, Amy turns into a third grader. Now, her art teacher asked her to make a painting for her assignment, but she struggles and makes such a bad sloppy mess. But then, Jesus helps her and he helps her make a nice painting out of that sloppy mess. A few more years later, Amy turns into a teenager. Now, teenagers' life is very busy, so they need to make a schedule. And Amy tries to make a schedule for her week. But she's so frustrated and she doesn't know when to do what. So Jesus helps her and makes an awesome plan for her week and she is totally organized. A few more years later, she turns into a mom and she gives birth to this baby boy. Like all crybabies, this baby boy also cries a lot. And he throws away his toys and he doesn't want to go to sleep. And so Amy is so so like frustrated but then Jesus helps her and he puts the baby fast asleep and now she can do her work while looking after her baby. So I believe in every struggling situation of your life you will experience our empowering father. Moving on to a gayness. Shalom. A poem on one of the aspects of God, the redeeming love of God. Our redeeming God, what is this love? Is this love that created mankind in Eden to enjoy the cool of the day? Our redeeming God, what is this love? Is this love that clothed and comforted your children when they sinned? Our redeeming God, what is this love? Is this love that tended them in your ways even though the people of God disobeyed? Our redeeming God, what is this love? Is this love that sent judges, prophets and kings when your sons and daughters did ill sit? Our redeeming God, what is this love? Is this love that gave ten commandments when God's children committed heresy? Our redeeming God, what is this love? Is this love that gave your own son to change man's final destination? Our redeeming God. What is this love? Is this love that extended redemption from sins by bringing salvation through Christ to Jesus your son? Our redeeming God. What is this love? Is this love? All through these I have seen that you are love. So 
what is redeeming? Redeeming means to buy back. It was the work of Jesus Christ to die on the cross by which he bought us back from the slavery of sins. Uh, as it says um, in 1 Kings chapter, um, chapter 1 verse 29, And the king took an oath and said, As the Lord lives, who has redeemed my life from every distress, I believe through your situation, you will experience God is a redeeming God. Next, we have Sarah. Hi, and I want to share with you a poem I composed. The Lord is accepting, never rejecting. I was a sinner, but in Christ I'm a winner. He raised me from ashes, told me to rise, Placed me on earth, said I'm beautiful in his eyes. To pieces I was broken, but Jesus spoke into me purpose. You are accepted, never rejected. You, my child, are chosen. So I believe in every situation that you will experience our accepting Father. God is merciful to the rich people and the poor people and God's mercy is new every morning. Uh, I believe that in every situation you will experience our merciful Father. Next we have Siona. Blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy. This girl is a beggar and this girl is really rich. So she asked this girl say, can I please have some money? And she replies saying, who do you think I, who do you think you are to ask me for some money? And she doesn't give her any money. This girl sees her, her behavior and feels sorry for the beggar and gives the beggar some money. And she tells this girl saying, don't be rude, just have some mercy on the poor. Luke chapter 6 verse 38 says, give and it will be given to you. I believe that in every situation you will experience our merciful God. Prodigals come home, the helpless find hope. Love is on the move when the Father's in the room. This was our Henley. Others do picture. He is the generous, unfailing, changing, infinite, empowering, redeeming, accepting and merciful.